So the CX-7, what yeah. is it? CX-7. So it's virtually the brother of the FPX-7. So you see this guy, it's been in the market probably two or three years, and that's a dedicated studio monitor with TRS in, XLR. Um, one of our distributors, who is one of our biggest distributors, wanted a hi-fi version can still be used in a studio because it's the same voicing, same driver complement, the seven inch um, paper pulp cone, the AMT tweeter, uh, same voicing like I said, but in a totally different enclosure. It's square, it's not the bow design, and black lacquer piano, black lacquer uh, finish. We also come comes in a, a matte gray finish as well, which is pretty cool. Same, same um, high frequency mid adjust, acoustic space, mid adjust, and it's a great it's a great compliment for any home or studio. And maybe it's also good as a reference, maybe in a studio to have more a hi-fi speaker yes. base there, right? Actually we tried, I tried to make it more hi-fi sounding, you know, but it didn't sound good. It didn't sound as good as this one. So we said, you know what, let's just keep it the same. Um, and it turned out quite great, and we're selling a lot of these. And what else, what, what is the price of the speaker per piece, like they're, per unit? Yeah, they're 549 US per per unit. Um, of course, the the bigger cabinet, the lacquer uh, design is a little bit more costly. And they are available already in the market in Europe as well. Yes, in in both markets, US and Europe. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.